So today we are doing the full face highlighter challenge and I'm so nervous <laughs> because my skin is already crappy enough but I'm gonna highlight all of it. Um, I exfoliated before this and I washed my face. The only thing I'm not doing is my eyebrows because those have to be done. Sorry. Not sorry. As you can tell I have a new background. I recently redid my room and I vlogged the whole thing. I'm just not going to have it up yet because I'm still waiting on the walls to dry so I can hang some stuff and then it'll be fully done. I'm really excited to show you guys. It looks like a new room. It's insane. Also my window's open so if you hear anything, sorry, but like I said, it's super hot in here and I'm not willing to die for this video. Um, so yeah, let's get started. It was not cute. We were doing it again. So the first product I'm going to start with as my foundation, <laughs> I can't, is the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator and in this Shade. It's called Gleam 02. I'm sure this will match my skin tone perfectly. I'm gonna use my hands because I'm not gonna ruin a brush for this. I am honestly so nervous, but also super excited because it's like I get to literally glow everywhere. <laughs> so scared. Oh my god, my face looks red. It's like a red undertone. <laughs> Good face. Oh my god. This is doing absolutely nothing to conceal my zit. <laughs> oh my god, this is insane. I mean like I wonder if you put foundation over this if it would look pretty. I don't know, I can't do that because the whole point of the challenge is to only use highlighters. Make sure you blend it all out. Super important. Take it down the neck. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> now for concealer. So I'm going to use my Sunbeam by Benefit. This is so risque. This sounds old too, like super old. Yep, just, you know, highlighting in a triangle motion. Can you see? I'm gonna zoom in. Bridge of the nose. Oh my god, please kill me. On the center of my chin and on the center of my forehead. This looks beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna blend out my my finger. Oh god. If you ever want to highlight every imperfection you have, do this challenge. Is this safe to get into the eye? Hope so. I'm gonna glow from space. If this won't get me a man, nothing will. Make sure you get the eyelids so you can conceal the eyelids. Oh my god, my nose. It doesn't get better than this. Like my tissue. Okay. Now that the face is done, we have to set it. I literally look like the Tin Man. Like, this is the look they probably used in the movie. Like, for sure. So, for this one, I guess I do have to use a brush, but I'm just going to use a brush that I never use. It's like a stippling brush, but... For highlight, I'm going to be going in with Becca Cosmetics... Uh... Ugh. Becky Cosmetics Highlight in Champagne Pop. I'm running pretty low, but I have two backups, so it's Gucci. It's Gucci! So load my brush up. Oh my god. And just set your face with the powder. This is 
like almost like a life dream of mine come true. I've always wanted to know what it looks like if I had it my whole face. It's not as bad as I thought. It's not like, it's actually concealing my pores pretty well. Not concealing, but they're not like in your face. It's a really cute face. So just setting that, make sure you bring it down the neck. Would you guys dare me to go and poke at this? I like it a lot. And for contour, I'm going in with my NYX Strobe of Genius. And I'm going to be taking the middle shade to contour. I'm using an angled brush. Load the brush up. Load it. a lot of excess. <laughs> Holy shnikes. All right. I'm going to start wow. contouring the cheekbones. Wow, well, that's a harsh contour. I think I'm going to like go out like this. <laughs> so ugly. And then the other side. That side's better. I contour my jaw. Is this really considered contour? I'm doing it with a highlight. Now you're just getting too well confused. Is it contour or the highlight or is it both? Sides of my face. Alright, it was looking good till I brought this in the equation. Now it's looking like red orange mess. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bake. I'm gonna bake a little bit. I'm gonna take let me see that. I'm gonna take this shade in the palette and run that under my contour. Oh, I need a stronger brush. I saw we using this one today. It is a dirty one. Bake it. I'm gonna do my under eye too. I'm gonna bake my under eye. Now we have to contour our nose. I'm gonna use my finger this time because I'm not ruining any more brushes. I have one highlighting brush. So, taking the same brown shade that we used before. I made you a nose hair. I'm sorry. I did not mean to offend. Oh, this would be awful. And surprisingly, my skin feels very smooth. And then highlight. Yep. Yep. This is looking much better on camera, but if you saw it in real life, you'd wonder if I knew what I was doing with makeup. What's next? Eyeshadow! Oh, this is fun. This is lots of fun. So for eyeshadow. I'm going to be taking this pinky highlight and just putting that all over the lid. This was actually really pretty shade if I wasn't doing it as a joke. Okay, and then for cream color. taking a crease brush and I'm gonna dip it into the brown shade. Oh I'm actually digging this. I 
I never put shimmery colors in the crease, so this is like going back on everything I've ever learned about makeup. Not that there are rules for makeup, but if you're doing a shimmery crease, you're usually just doing a whole shimmery look. I guess that's what we're doing now. For my lower lash line, I'm going to be taking the purpley shade and running that under my lash line. That's atrocious. We're gonna work with it. We're gonna work with it. Alrighty. Now I'm gonna blend it out with that bronzy shade. Actually, I'm gonna blend it out with this one. God. And then for a pop of color, I'm gonna be taking the gold and putting it in my inner corner, even though I loathe, loathe this color. I hate yellow golds. I like yellow. I don't like yellow golds. I guess it's time for... We didn't highlight, like, highlight the cheekbone. Let's do that. Let's do that. So I forgot blush and I like one of my eyes. I was just so excited to my eyes. I'm going to be taking Becca's Rose Gold as my blush. And then for highlight, for highlight, I'm going to be taking Opal from Becca. If this won't make me glow, nothing will. Yes, now for lips, I'm going to be taking the NYX Illuminator again and using this as a lipstick. Oh. Surprisingly moisturizing. And for my lashes, I'm using the Vegas May Shining Star Lashes, and that's the purple box. So I'm gonna go apply those and I'll be right back. Alright, you guys, here is the finished <laughs> look. I I'm not hating it, but I'm not loving it, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So I just look like the Tin Man, and my lip gloss looks like that metallic lip gloss that's so popular right now. So, I mean, if I wanted to look like this, I don't think anyone would actually like stop and stare. I'm sure I get a few looks, but it's not that bad. So this video will probably be up before the room renovation video, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was super fun to film. Um, I honestly challenge all of you to do it, even if you don't do it in front of a camera. It's actually super fun just to like watch yourself be like a beam of freaking light. So, I hope you guys liked it. And if you want to see more videos, like if you want to see my room renovation vlog, subscribe so you can be notified when that one pops up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, loves. Short sexy hair, play dirty.